What is something your sa does that you can't stand but you don't say about it? She drinks too fucking loud. The gulps can be heard from across the room. Drives me insane. I grew up with a dad that was always forcing us to be early to places. Because being five minutes early is better than being one second late. As an adult I get anxiety about being places late. I hate it and wish I didn't. My wife however is one of those it doesn't matter if I'm late people. She laughs at my anxiety and says that if I ask her to hurry she will just slow down. I absolutely hate it. Nine times out of ten I don't say a word once we are on the way. But that one time I end up saying anything about it she acts like I should just get over it. Thanks for this post now I'm frustrated. I have a very good knife set. I've had it for most of the past 20 years and use them all the time. She has seen me use them. Clean them. Put them away in the block a thousand times. When she puts them away they're never in the correct places in the block and or the handles are oriented wrong. Ten years ago I just stopped caring when she finishes in the kitchen I go in and put them back where they belong. She refuses to put her seatbelt on when she's a passenger in my car. So the car dings. And dings again. And again. And again and again and again. It won't stop until the belt is clicked. So I say put your seatbelt on and she says oh yeah and does it. She knows I won't leave the driveway or parking lot until it's on. And she does it goddamn time. She always applies a negative tone to ambiguous texts. She often talks too loud. It makes me cringe. I don't have the heart to say please can you lower your voice. Because I know she's just feeling excited and it would crush her spirit. She has 100 piles of stuff throughout the house but the two piles of stuff I have are the piles. That bother her and need to be put away. She opens any food packaging like a bear at a campsite. Just destroys a box and then puts it back in the pantry when done. I don't understand it. Not a current so but a previous one used to use a new cup every time she got a glass of water. If she was at mine for the day weekend I'd end up with 612 borderline clean cups queued up for. Washing up that have had nothing but water in them. My ex would never rinse her dishes off before putting them in the sink. It would get all gross. Especially the cereal bowls with dried up milk in it. I asked her if she could just rinse the dishes off before putting them in the sink so they aren't a pain to wash. She never did. Drove me nuts. Like how hard is it to run the faucet for 10 seconds to rinse off a dish? Hit the snooze button. I'm pretty sure she's tone deaf. But I don't have the guts to tell her because she loves singing around the house. Doesn't break down cardboard boxes or remove plastic packaging before throwing in recycling bin. Puts things down but not away. I hate clutter that spreads through the house edit sp. She can't turn off anything electrical. All lights. Fans etc. stay on endlessly until I turn them off. No use fighting about it. I just do it. She is an extremely picky eater. Peels her toenails. She doesn't clip them like a normal human. She picks at them until she can peel the tip off. Yes. She does often peel too much. Just put the frickin' cereal bowl in the dishwasher. It's right there next to the sink actually. You've walked past the dishwasher to put the bowl in the sink. And close the dang toilet lid. Yells out loud when anything small happens. Like oh no or no. It always gets my attention then it's always nothing or small and stupid. Drama queen man. At the end of a long work day. The last thing I want to do is talk. That's the time she not only wants to talk about nothing but wants to bring up mentally or emotionally challenging topics. I know our time is limited. But goddamn. Is it draining? After pretty much everything she says. She says you know? She's not even actually asking for a response. 
If I don't respond she doesn't notice. She never takes my side in any conversation or conflict. I joke that I could be arguing the Holocaust with Hitler and she'd take his side. After 30 years it only bothers me a little. She is an enormous slob and has so much unused stuff. The idea that thousands have been spent on things that haven't ever been used is annoying and the fact it takes up an entire walk-in closet is a bit ridiculous. Spending money on stuff we really don't need. If it's on sale, buy most of it to give away for upcoming events or holidays. Have totes full of stuff taking up space for the eventually day it may be needed. Getting better after almost 30 years. Except when it's a food item. God forbid. We don't need cases of chips or snacks. She insists on undervaluing what she contributes to our relationship. She's incredible, caring, selfless, and refuses to acknowledge it. It's frustrating as anything, but I just keep thanking her for what she does anyway. Leaves her panties everywhere and the dogs always bring them to me. Slurping Cheerios. Like nails on a chalkboard. She grabs and pinches me with her toes. I swear her toe grip is better than her hand grip. She's pulled out leg hair doing this and it really hurts. I get she's just being playful but damn. Nothing. Anything she does that annoys me, she is well aware annoys me. Communication, y'all. Slurps everything he eats like it's noodles or liquid. When she gets around other women for a while she adopts this teenagey Gen Z way of speaking. It'll last a few hours or even a day or two and then she'll speak normally again. Pronounces tortillas as tortillas. She leaves clutter everywhere but otherwise perfect so I limit my complaints. Keeps blaming the patriarchy for everything except a BMW from her father when she was 17 and alone. Free education at Stanford paid again by her father O and the privilege of taking two years off. After university to travel and explore the world so that she could find her true north paid. For again by her father. Her aversion to spiders really limits my Halloween decorating. I just want to get spooky. Man cold sweat smile and I can't watch scary movies with her either. I love a good slasher film this time of year. Have to stay up late and watch if I want any chance of watching the whole thing. Love her to death, though. She burps. Really loud. Don't think it's intentional, but still. Commentary during every show movie. Haven't seen a movie show in peace in ages. When she cooks, it can take 4-7 days before she washes the dishes. She is amazing at so many things. Very detailed when it comes to everything she does. Except cleaning. She sucks at cleaning. Like she can't focus on cleaning for some reason unless I am also there cleaning with her. She's not as career or driven by intellectual pursuit as I'd like. She's definitely the one. But I also wish I more paid attention to the fact that almost every woman in her life has not had a career of their own. The nuances of a culture like that make me worried for my daughter. Chews with their mouth open. It is the worst. Complains about being unhealthy overweight but doesn't want to work out. Eat healthier foods. Or change her habits. I got to the gym three five days a week and have offered to help her countless times to no avail. I encourage her all I can but I don't say much about it because then she thinks I don't find her attractive or I'm afraid I'm being direct with her. Smoker. I'm non-smoker and I hate it hate it, ugh.